Hello Yellow Jacket fans, this is Mike Stamus for RamblingRec.com. We're here on the flats today talking with head men's tennis coach Kenny Thorne. It's almost time for the fall season to begin. The Yellow Jackets will start their fall schedule the weekend of September 23rd, 24th, 25th with the annual Southern Intercollegiate Championships in Athens, Georgia, one of the oldest uh, tennis tournaments in the country. And uh, you send your whole team over there every year, uh, Kenny. Um, uh, it's, that's sort of the signal that it's all getting started, correct? Yeah, it's, uh, it becomes a good indicator because we get about a month and a half of practice in. Uh, and, you know, a lot of it's conditioning, a lot of it's just trying to mix and match uh, some doubles teams, a lot of it's, you know, uh, trying to just get some singles competition right before that. But that's when you really find out what's, what your team is uh, going to look like. And a lot of good, uh, a lot of very good competitors, uh, players, uh, play in this event. Correct. Right. Yeah. And, and traditionally, you've got uh, a, you know you'll have some of your top singles players in the nation playing it, uh, top doubles teams in the nation playing it. So there's a lot of different divisions, and so you'll get uh, a good mix of players from some smaller schools as well. So it's a good tournament. Um, a little bit different for you going into this into this uh, year for your team. Last year you had no roster changes. You had a full team coming back from the year before. This year it's a little bit, you've got four newcomers on your team. Uh, what kind of a challenge does that present? How different is it to prepare and develop this team now uh, as you get into the fall? Yeah, I think uh, we lost two doubles, entire doubles teams from last year, which are number two and three teams. So a lot of our practices right now have been on trying to find the doubles teams to replace those two. Um, and uh, a lot of doubles practice. And, uh, and as juniors are coming up these days, they're not playing quite as much doubles mm -hmm. in your junior competitions as, as they used to. So teaching some of the fundamentals there and mm -hmm. uh, getting that down, I think that's important. Um, but yeah, we're, we're you know, establishing some, some of the basic things that we expect as, as, a, uh, you know, as, as our pursuit of excellence at Georgia Tech, mm -hmm. which it was understood last year with all the same guys back. Right. Um, with the veterans that you had last year, the five seniors and whatnot, uh, like you said, they knew what to expect. They, they had their fundamentals down and all that. How much, with, with the new people that you have, how much of your job is teaching tennis, teaching the way you want things done, and learning the strengths and weaknesses that they have? How much of that? Yeah, hopefully you know that by the time they've come in. We've, we've done a lot of evaluating before they got here. so. We understand their strengths, their weaknesses. Uh, a lot of it is uh, for them getting into school and just time management of, of learning how to deal with uh, academics, deal with the rigors of our conditioning, as well as uh, the, the on-court uh, practices that we do have. But they, uh, you know, we get such a high level of student athlete here. We really do, and it's, uh, it's, it's encouraging to see some of the guys come in and, and they're, they've made some uh, serious improvements just in the last month. That's good. Um, you, you do have the nation's top doubles team returning, uh, ranked number one Kevin King and Juan Spear, and they're also ranked in the top 100 in singles play as well. So that's a pretty good anchor for your team to build off of, would you say? Yeah, I think uh, we've got a good base and, and we built up very good momentum uh, last year and you always want to you always want to build and, and it's one thing you, you might have new guys but uh, there's a precedent set of you know what you expect and expectations are high they're, they're always high and I've always kept them high uh, you know some of the results have showed it and some hadn't but the expectations I think are good to, to keep high and coming into this season um, Kevin and Juan have done a great job of showing. Look, uh, we're not we're not interested in just competing well. We're, we want to we want to be the best, and so uh, I think it's a good standard that they've set. And it's preseason, so they got a lot of work to do. Now they've accomplished so much uh, as a doubles team up already, and they've got tremendous credentials. What what is what's the next step for them? What's you know what's the realistic goal for them? Uh, this year, not only as a doubles team, but as, as singles. Players. Yeah, I, I, we at the NCAAs last year where they got to the semis of the doubles, we, uh, after matches, we, we, they kind of hopped back out on the court and, and, and played singles. Mm -hmm. 
and kind of set the precedence of this is what you're doing in doubles, this is what you're doing in singles, and I think they're they're looking at this year doing it in both, and, and I think uh, they both have games that they could take over singles and doubles and, and be some of the best players in the nation at that. Um, so yeah, you, you know, they, they have goals of winning a national title in doubles, uh, you know, as well as coming through in singles for the team and, and, and being some of the best singles players. So, uh, you know, they're doing the work. They're, they're, they've, they've grown a lot in their games, and I think, uh, I think they could really break out in singles this year. Um, where, you know, where are the improvements that they need to make as individuals to, to get to take that next step? I, I think it's just consistency. I, their, their games are so big. Both of them have huge serves. Uh, they actually move well around the court for, for big guys, and they do some really good things on the court. It's just maintaining the consistency, match in and match out. And they're, they're beating some of the best players in the nation now in singles. They just need to, in singles and doubles, just to maintain their consistency. They got a chance to play the Bryan brothers. Right. And that was one of the big, big differences that they, they felt like was these guys just didn't miss a return. And they got the racket on it. They were consistently getting it back. So I think they've been able to play some of the best players now, and they, they understand. They don't have to play bigger. They just got to play more consistent. How much mixing and matching do you do in the fall? You mentioned that you, you know, lost the two full doubles teams from last year who were both very successful. How much mixing and matching you do in the fall to try to determine you know, who your other two doubles teams are going to be, and you know, or do you have any indications of who they be even even now? A lot. <laughs> we do a lot okay. of mixing, a lot okay. of matching. I mean, it's uh, you you know everybody's got their view on what makes a good doubles team. You get a consistent player with a big hitter and a finisher and a. You know, you gotta you gotta look at their personalities as they come in, and if they get along on the court, and sometimes that's good. If they do, sometimes actually, it's nice when they clash. I mean, we had uh, Elliot and Ryan last year, two totally different people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, off the court, but they they meshed well on the court. So, uh, y you've got to go through all that, and it takes a while. And the tough thing is, you you get four dates about in the fall that we've got to figure it out by then, and and by January have them have them set. Um, among your newcomers, you got a transfer from Georgia Southern, who was the Southern Conference uh, Player of the Year. Uh, how good can he be at this level? Uh, you know, how much does does what he, his game translate you know, to the ACC and the national stage? I, I think he can do very well. He's very strong. Hits a heavy ball both sides. Lost two matches all year, right. and uh, anytime you go in and you're playing number one for your team. Division one level and only lose two matches. It's uh, it's impressive and uh, very good competitor. And I think he'll 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 settle in very well at the at the ACC level. What can you tell us about the other your other three newcomers, Eddie and uh, and Vikram and Colin? Yeah, Eddie, uh, very talented player. Uh, again, I think he needs to work on consistency, but he's uh, he could come in and make a, a strong impact right away. Vikram is uh, very tough he's he's one of those i think is going to surprise people and he's getting stronger right now in the past month has really picked up his conditioning i think he's gonna come out he's one of those guys that knows how to win and uh colin i think has improved his doubles quite a bit and i think he's uh he's got a game style that that could really uh help us out there so uh they're all wa working extremely hard and uh, good attitudes that's what we look for and they're they're doing what they need to do do you worry a little bit? You have seven players on your team. Do you worry a little bit about depth? How much? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're still recruiting for January mm -hmm. and, and planning to bring one more player in. Um, but uh, I like a smaller team. I don't necessarily like six or seven, but I, I do like a smaller team. We do a lot of individual stuff with, with guys. Practices are incredible. We, we really get a lot done in the practices. So, uh, you know, I'd like to have eight on the team. We had nine last year. Right. And uh, that was fine. Everybody got a chance to play. And I think that's a, that's a good thing for the program. If everybody on the team is understanding that you're going to be in the competition at mm -hmm. a big time, mm -hmm. no one loses hope. They're all engaged in their practices, and, and they're all developing. Great. Well, Kenny, appreciate you stopping by and talking with us today. And good luck this season. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate and, it. And uh, we'll talk again as we go. Uh, just for you uh, Yellow Jacket tennis fans out there, our – Georgia Tech's team will be in competition on campus uh, once during the fall. That will be October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at the Georgia Tech Fall Invitational.
at the Bill Moore Tennis Center, so come on out. Um, thanks for joining us. This is Mike Stamus with RamblinRec.com.